Hi guys, um, it's Caroline and I've literally not been on YouTube forever. Um, there is a good reason for this, I have had a lot going on in my life, um, life's been quite hectic, but I've got really, really exciting um, I'm back, I'm, I'm back soon, <laughs> I'm boxing for you guys um, coming up, excuse the uh, sunglasses but I'm literally sitting on right near the garden and um, it, the sun's quite strong so I'm going to leave them on for now. This is a really really special um, unboxing for me, it's it's more of an unbagging really but um, yeah it's this is really special for me so um, I bought this pre-loved so this is a pre-loved find and I've wanted this bag forever and I mean forever this is the bag that started my absolute obsession with designer handbags um, and I never ever owned one so I am super stoked to have found this at a absolutely fantastic price um, when I say a fantastic price it genuinely was a fantastic price um, I'm going to go into that a little bit more um, as I go along but for starters I want to show you and tell you the story of how I found this so this is the piece that I am talking about yeah it is a Chloe piece okay genuine Chloe piece and I found this at um, I found this at a consignment store that is not too far from me now I don't go in here an awful lot so it is literally um, I will go in there maybe twice a year I was passing on my way from back from work and I thought right I'm gonna have a little pop in there and see what's in there if there's anything there because I just broke my purse and I thought maybe I would find a purse or I don't know I just wanted to have a general look around it was payday coming up and I thought okay maybe now's the time to have a look to see if there's anything that catches my eye specifically anyway I went in there and there was nothing in there to start off with and then um, I was talking to the shop assistant and I'd had a look around nothing caught my eye then behind her I just caught a glimpse of it and I was like oh, is that a Chloe and she said yes it is and I said oh my gosh let me have a look so she got it for me um, and I had a look at it I was like oh my god oh my god oh my god it's in such good condition this piece is in really really good condition I am so shocked at how good this bag actually is in condition so I was super stoked about it anyway so I said, okay, how much is it? And she looked at her, she said, it's £90. She said, sorry. She said, it's £90. It's just literally come down from 160 I said, you are joking me. That is what I said, I'm having it. So I hadn't even really checked the inside or anything at this point. I'd just seen the price and it, on the outside, it seemed um, like a pretty good, pretty good deal. So I thought, right, okay, I'm going to get it. So there you go. Anyway. So I put down whatever cash I had on me because it's literally just before payday. I said, look, can I lay some money on it and come and get it? And she said, yeah, yeah. And she wanted £25, but I didn't even have that. So I had £15 in my purse and I literally put my last £15 onto that bag so that I could have it. Anyway, so I went back today and I picked it up and I'm super excited. Oh my God. So this is the bag. So I'm going to go into it now. As you can see, it's coming in a Chloe dust bag. This is quite a weighty bag. This bag, and I'm going to go into the history a little bit now, it was around in the mid-2000s, and it was an extremely popular bag um, that was quite hard to get. So it was sought after, and it was extremely popular. It was worn by a lot of celebrities at the time. And I was absolutely crazy about it. And I would not have been able to afford it back then. So I never actually owned one. And so this for me is my Holy Grail bag. This is the Holy Grail bag that I wanted for so long. I think I hankered for it for about two, three years. Never got it. And then it kind of um, died a death, so to speak. And um, 
it stopped being popular and they stopped making it so there you go that's the history of the bag i think a lot of you will know this i still think it's a classic i think that it will always be um a sought after handbag because of the style um so i'm going to go into it now now bags have now become quite structured so this is completely different to what's fashionable now really but hey so here we have it and i'm going to go straight into it a lot of you guys will know what this is so I'm going to give you a teaser. There you go. Are you getting it? You can smell the leather. I cannot believe after... This is a 2005 bag, so I looked at the date code, and I cannot believe how much it smells of leather still. It's amazing. Oh, my God. It's just so beautiful. There we go. And that's going to give you a big clue. So you've got a big C here on the hardware. And out it comes. Yes, this is a Chloe Paddington, you guys. This is amazing. Amazing. Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. So I'm just going to pull it away. Look at this amazing piece. This really is in very good condition um it comes with would you believe and i'm going to show you this it comes with the original tags i can't get over it for 90 quid the inside is here and if you look you can see it's in really really good condition i'm just going to show you the side pocket as well side pockets in really good condition there's the lock so you've got the lock with Chloe written on it the lock is so heavy I mean I remember having a look at these guys in the shop and they are heavy bags the hardware is really good so underneath you've got the Chloe bit here as you can see that's reflecting the light that's the sun coming in from the back garden that's why I've got my shades on so yeah and it's really in good condition the tags are in here so i'm just going to get them out look proper chloe tags and this was let's have a look here we go shoulder back ah oh, it's in the color khaki 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 So it's 05A, 5A, I say shoulder bag, TU khaki off lining, 100% cotton, 100% genuine calfskin leather, 100% brass, made in Italy. Lovely. So this colour is called khaki or khaki. I think it's like a really dark brown. Um, it's not black. So you've got the Chloe there as well chloe made in italy and this is very much i mean i i did all the authentication stuff back then because i was always trying to find a good second out there's a lot of fakes of these but this is genuine definitely and it's from a consignment store it's got the fake ones you could really see the chloe there but on the genuine ones it's quite a light stamp and the same as this it's not it's not really stamped hard in and the same on the leather here you can't really feel it really lovely I am so over the moon about this and you know it's even got the original care cards so this is genuinely a, a really really lovely find for 90 quid I mean I just can't get over it what do you do guys 90 pounds I couldn't turn it away I had to buy it I had to add it to my collection so there it is, the Chloe Paddington in all its beautiful glory. What I'm going to do is just pop these tags into, I'm going to put one in there, and then I'll put that one in there, because I don't want to lose them. And of course, the beautiful front part here with Chloe underneath. Let me just get that. 
And then you've got obviously got the Chloe there. So the bag is heavy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is a really heavy bag. Um, you can wear it on the shoulder like so. Or how I'm going to wear it is just like so. I think it looks nicer like that on me. So um, yeah, so I'm going to fill it up and start wearing it. So yeah, generally a fantastic, I couldn't wait to show you guys. I really, really couldn't wait. So if you've got any questions, please do ask. Um, I will do a full review on this once I've started wearing it. Um, but I just wanted to unbag it for now. I just want to show you that the piping also is really good. So the only flaws that I found on the bag was that one side of the zipper doesn't shut. I think it's this one. No, that one opens still, so, because this is YKK zippers, so you do them up and then this one opens still, and it's got the big pulleys like these, so what you would do if you wanted to lock the bag, you would unlock the thing, put that over there, and then lock the lock over top, but this side doesn't work, so it's stuck, I'm not sure why but it's stuck so I might try and fix that or have that fixed but to be honest it's not too much of a bother I can just have the one side done and use that side to get in and out of it and I will be wearing it like so so thoughts guys please um, rate comment and, and subscribe and tell me what you think the leather I've got to say the leather is the most buttery nice leather that I've experienced other than on a Balenciaga so this has aged really nicely and you can see looking around the bag that this has hardly been used I think the amount of I mean I've looked around the piping and I've only seen real minimal bits of wear um, it's it's in great condition so um, for 90 quid I got a really lovely buy so I'm really really happy and I cannot wait to take this guy out so I'm going to leave it there and ciao for now, guys. Ciao. Oh.